See in the meantime, we have other headlines we want to get to today. Indiana Dunes National Park beaches are closed after an apparent spill at a U.S. steel plant. It looks dramatic from above. We're going to show you that. The factory and a nearby water treatment plant are closed also. WGN's Kelly Davis is in Portage, Indiana with our update. Officials say they don't know what this orange substance that's spilling into the waterways could possibly be. They are currently waiting on test results, and until they receive them, the beaches are closed. We just wanted to go to the beach and have a picnic. Okay. I'm like, we just wanted a picnic. Dina Sears and her friends tried to spend the day at the dunes, but their visit was cut short. As soon as we walked down there, they were like, just don't go in the water, stay very far off the shore, and that's what we did. The Indiana Dunes National Park is closed after an orange substance spilled from the U.S. steel plant into the Burns waterway and out into Lake Michigan. It did look dark. You could tell where it's blue up by the lake and then you can see the darker water. Portage Mayor Sue Lynch said she started receiving calls about it around 6 p.m. on Sunday. I hate it when anything gets in the lake that doesn't belong there. She immediately went down there and snapped these pictures. So it was going along the edge in the beginning, but then it started, it, by the time I left, it was all the way across the channel. Indiana American Water shut off its intake valve as a precaution while several crews collected samples. Right now, everyone is waiting on test results. I know that there has been a lot of testing going on today, and I did speak with U.S. Steel late again last night about 10 o'clock, and they assured me that as soon as they got any kind of results that they would contact me immediately. A spokesperson with the U.S. Steel plant says they halted operations until they figure out what this substance is, and they are currently cooperating with local officials. Reporting in Portage, Indiana, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News. Well, one of two